I'm really big on the idea that every once in a while, no matter what it is that you do, you have to find some time to get away to escape, to gather your thoughts and just take a little time for yourself. It refreshes the mind and I also think it helps you appreciate things that you may have otherwise taken for granted. Whether you love what you do or you hate what you do on a daily basis, it's important that you find a getaway spot or just some time to go off, be on your own, see the world from a different perspective. So for me, I just took a drive, got lost up in the mountains, found a pretty good spot to get lost at. I wanted to bring you guys with me and what better way for you to enjoy this beautiful view than a little bit of drone footage. So while I relax and while I just take some time to just think, you guys can also enjoy the scenery. I'll see you guys in a little bit. So first things first, Coach Javi has not been getting after it in the gym lately. If you guys would be so kind as to comment on every single video from now on, at least someone has to comment asking if I went to the gym that day. I read through all the comments. I might not be able to reply to all of them, but I do read and look at almost every single one. Go on there, remind me not to be lazy, ask me if I've gone to the gym, and if I have, I will reply. If I did not go to the gym, I will not reply, and then you get on me even more. So that's the first thing. Um, I'm here at the football stadium here at Gardner Webb just taking a walk It's nice out. I got a little bit of a break I won't be able to film everything that's going on during preseason as you guys can imagine I can't just be walking around with a camera while I'm supposed to be coaching and all that But I do promise I will try and record all the things that I can so I do coach both the men and the women's teams here at Gardner Webb So for the women they move in a little bit earlier their preseason starts a week before the men so the women's preseason starts tomorrow the men starts in a week. So our schedule for the ladies, I'm gonna run you guys through it. So today's the very first day. They check into their housing from eight to noon and then they have impact testing for the freshmen. So that's like concussion testing. It, it's baseline testing. So in case they ever get a concussion, they know where they were before so they can determine if they have a concussion or not. Then we have an intro meeting at 12.30. That's where we just gather up with the girls, talk about what's going on for the day. They have an NCAA meeting. So our compliance director comes in, talks to them about some of the rules about the NCAA, amateurism, illegal gambling, all the legal stuff around Division One soccer. So just NCAA compliance stuff. And then we have a parents meeting. And usually this is just for the freshman parents. We just talk to them about what our expectations are of the women, what they should expect out of us as a coaching staff, homesickness, because we do get every once in a while players who are homesick because obviously moving to college is kind of a big deal. So talk to them about the whole process. And that's just like an informative meeting for those parents. And then we have physicals from 3 to 6 p.m. Physicals are just basically we have a doctor come in, make sure the girls are cleared medically to play make sure that they're all healthy, they don't have any heart issues, any illnesses or diseases that might keep them from playing. So that goes on for about three hours. And then we conclude the day with a team meeting at 7.30 p.m. So this is where we start talking about what we're gonna do during the preseason, what's expected of all the girls in terms of fitness, all the fitness tests that we're gonna take, when we're gonna take them, what our practices are gonna be structured like, what time we're gonna practice, what their days are gonna be like. So that's just a, our, our official team meeting before preseason officially officially starts the next day so day two is when we officially get out onto the field during preseason we have two a days sometimes three days we vary it for the women what we do is we have training at nine in the morning 
and then training at seven o'clock in the afternoon. About every other day we have on the field training for certain groups. We'll split them up into, for example, the forwards and the defenders. On the days that we do have three a days, we'll have training at nine, training at seven, and at 12.45, one group will go to the weight room and do strength training, and the other group will be out on the field doing positional training. So that's our training schedule. I don't want to bombard you with too much information, but that's typically how our first two days are structured. Like we've been through the whole day basically now. All we have left is our team meeting. If you guys have any questions, feel free to put those down below about what our preseason looks like, and I'll try to answer as many of those as I can. <sighs> All right, that's a lot of talking there. Sorry, mates. I'm gonna go back to the office for a little bit. After that, we're off to the meeting, and then get some rest before preseason starts and fitness tests because everybody loves fitness tests down the years it's been a ride and now i'm sorry i want more let's not in tonight and on and on as we go we seem to fight but baby that's just the way we love and only in the dark do we see our sunlight home is where we were Home is where we want to be And yes, we don't have time To say goodbye And this ain't the last time Day two of preseason. Today we have the Man U fitness test, but uh, I want to introduce you guys to someone here. This right here is Ali. He is the, uh, the assistant on the men's side, and he's the one that recruited me to come work here. Gardner Webb legend, played all four years. And uh, he's recruited, how many internationals have you recruited so far? Oh, two, three years, 25, 26. He's recruited about 25, 26 international players and just some Americans as well, right? Yeah, uh, David Coloco is one of the kids and that you guys have seen in the videos. Oh yeah, he uh, he recruited uh, Coloco, who's the guy that I showed you guys in, in the last vlog and the guy that's in most of my training videos. So he actually got him to come here and play and he's recruited a bunch of internationals. So we are planning to do like a Q&A for him on what the scouting process and what the recruiting process of internationals looks like. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys comment that down below, but this guy I'm telling you, he's a legend when it comes to scouting. Not so much when it came to playing. Oof, <laughs>
So what we have left for today is an evening session. We're just gonna play games, probably 11 v 11, just to see kind of where everybody's at, how the newcomers do in a game, and what we have leading up to our first preseason match. So if you guys liked me showing you guys kind of how our practices are formatted, let me know, comment that down below. And if there's a different way you want me to do it, let me know as well. Obviously I can't go into too much detail, especially when it comes to the tactical stuff, but I can give you guys a general overview of, of kind of what goes on in, in the day to day of preseason. So the only thing left to talk about is the camps. I honestly did not expect such a big response in the video where I talked about the possibility of me running a few camps, but it's amazing. So it was just an idea. Now the idea is growing. Now Coach Javi has to do all the logistics, where I'm going to do it, how it's going to be formatted, how much it's going to cost, what days I'm going to do it, what cities I'm going to do it in. And I have some pretty big news coming up soon. Coming soon. I don't know when, but I have some big news, so stay tuned because I'm excited to present something new to you guys. But yeah, but again, if you're interested, make sure you keep commenting where you want me to go because I have read every single comment and I know there's a lot of cities that I could potentially go to. So make sure you keep commenting your cities down below. Um, but I think that's it for this one. We got our evening session coming up soon, so I have to get ready for that. And then tomorrow is day three of preseason. Day three. So again, trying to document as much as I can, guys trying to get as much as I can. Hope you guys like it, and I guess I'll see you guys in a few days.